one. Hey guys, Ali from Alterax, again coming to you from Hurricane, Utah. I want to do a quick video on tips and tricks. Hey, what are those rubber straps that we're sending you in the, in the package? We get emails that way, what do you use these? Or we don't get any emails and I'm worried that I, it's like, hey, these are something we're not gonna use. But those rubber straps actually, they are recycled tire tubes that we cut up. I make my kids cut them up to one inch strips so we can, what they become is, Brake engagers. We break, engage the brakes on the bikes when we put the bikes on the rack. And that locks the bike into the rack and does not allow any movement for the hub, any side to side flex, and it also locks you fl fluid in position. No matter if you're using our racks or any other kind of vertical rack or horizontals, it's always good to engage the brakes. It allows to freeze the bike in the frame is sitting. It just makes sense and it allows for transfer of energy back into the rack and back into the vehicle if you're going through bumpy roads. Another thing I want to show you guys today is the hitch tightener. You see this flipped up. This I do this because it's easy to take on and off and we take a lot of racks on and off. But you can always flip this down as well. And that's actually the manufacturer recommended path is to have the hitch rack flipped down. It'll be a little harder to access those bolts. but. This is so fast in and out that it's not going to be a major time uh, crunch here. This is about 30 seconds. So, oh, the last thing I wanted to kind of discuss was the hitch, the safety pin. Never, never, ever, ever carry bikes without this pin not being installed. That pin is a weight-bearing pin, so it actually helps, as you can see, lock the bikes and the rack in a sandwich position so there is zero movement in the rack hopefully this these videos help you always go over the bolts and nuts after the first use and install uh, to make sure everything's nice and tight and torqued uh, if you get any kind of side to side movement on the rack especially flex at these points this bolt right here is tightens the the rack in, and it sandwiches it between these plastic pieces so you can actually make it even tighter especially if you're off-roading you want this to be pretty tight and see no sunlight through those areas so here's just some tips and tricks coming to you from Hurricane Utah shout out to Cycle Logical Clothesline for hooking us up with some awesome gear as you can see love the American flag hat again have a great April and we'll see you at Sea Otter